Tables usually contain a lot of data. If you want to move within an access table while you have it open in VBA, you can do so using the code that implements the move family of functions. In this movie, we're going to use two objects within the database. The first is the products table, and I'll double click that in the navigation pane to take a look at it. We have six records, garlic, basil, jalapeno, lemon, mandarin, and rosemary. There's no need to memorize them, but if you could remember that garlic is the first and rosemary is the last, then you'll have a better idea for how we're moving within the table. I'll press Control W to close it, and then I'll double click the move within code module over in the navigation pane to open it. And I've already created the skeleton for this code module, have the sub statement, and sub, and then I also create a record set variable, my r, and then when we're done working with it, access will close it, and then set that variable to nothing to free up system memory. Now I'm going to click two lines below the dimension statement and begin entering the code. The first thing we need to do is to open the products table and open it so that we can work with it. In other words, it needs to be dynamic. For this, we'll use a set statement, set, space my, capital R, then space equal, and a space, then type current db, c-u-r-r-e-n-t, db, period, and then open record set. As soon as you type an O, open record set appears in the autocomplete list, so go ahead and press tab to accept it. Then type a left parentheses, double quote, and the name of the table, and that is products, P-R-O, D-U-C-T-S, and then a double quote, and a comma. Now we need to tell Access how to open the table. In other words, do we open it as a record set, which we can't manipulate, or do we open it as a dynaset or dynamic record set, which we can? And of course, we want the latter. We indicate that using the keyword DB, open, O-P-E-N, dynaset, D-Y-N-A-S-E-T, and then a right parentheses. Now I'm going to press enter three times to give myself some room to work because I'm going to add a line of code after I'm done. The last thing I want to do is to display a message box with the name of the product. In other words, the value from the product name field. And the code for that is message box, msg, b-o-x, space, my r, m y r, exclamation point, then a left square bracket, and product name, p-r-o, d-u-c-t, N-A-M-E, and again, no spaces, that's all one word, and then a right square bracket, and press enter. Now what is the code that I want to use to move within the database table, or the record set? That depends. There are four different move statements that you can use, and I'll type them in here as comments. So single quote, the first one is move first, the second is move last, so single quote, move last. Third is move next, so single quote, move next. And finally, move previous, so single quote, move previous, and down arrow. And again, these are comments, so they won't become part of your code. And if you haven't already typed them, don't worry about it, you don't need to. I'm just putting them in so that you'll have them to look at as I'm discussing what I'll be using here in this routine. Now I'm going to click above the message box line. But before I type in any additional code, I'm going to press F5 to run this code module so you can see what happens. When I press F5, we get garlic, which is the first record's product name value. So I'll click OK. So what happens is that when Access opens the products table as a dynaset, the pointer is set to the first record. Now let's see what happens when I type in my r, m y r, period, move next, m o v e. N-E-X-T, and press enter. So in other words, what's happening is that we're opening the products table as a Dyna set, but now instead of just displaying the current record, which would be the first record, we're moving to the next record. So when I press F5 this time, instead of seeing garlic, we see basil. I'll click OK to clear it. Now let's say that we move last. So I will edit the move next method to move last and press the down arrow key. Now when I press F5, we see rosemary, which is the value in the last row. The move family of functions implements the functionality of the record navigation buttons 
at the bottom left corner of an access table, query, report, or a form. If you want that functionality without displaying the table, such as by using message boxes as in this movie, you can use these functions to make that happen.